I'm doing Depp vs. Heard, entertainment, pop culture, things like that. If you've been following Amber and Johnny, you might know Amber's got a friend named Eve Barlow. Some people say Eve's a journalist. Some people say just a friend. Some people say a lot of things. The one thing I know is Eve defends Amber on Twitter quite a lot, and Eve has been doing so for a long time. There was one point where Eve slowed down, but even to this day, she's still once in a while defending Amber on Twitter. So first, I want to get into... Well, how she's taunting Elon Musk, and also something I missed on Halloween about how somebody dressed up as Amber and Eve took issue with that. But first, as you can see, she changed her name to Evil Musk. And the reason is because Kathy Griffin got suspended, a lot of people, including Eve, are defending Kathy. So this is Eve's way of saying, hey, Elon Musk, I could change my name. Look at that. I'm not going to impersonate you. I'll make a joke out of it. Fine. Evil Musk. Woo. Elon Musk is so evil. Good job, Eve. And by the way, Eve is still growing the account and monetizing it while Eve in the past has told a lot of people that they were wrong for monetizing channels and accounts that covered that first herd. A little bit of a hypocrite, but all right, let's move on. And here's the tweet she replied to. Musk says, going forward, any Twitter handles engaging in impersonation without clearly specifying parody will be permanently suspended. And evil Musk says, you're a coward. A coward for what? Enforcing a rule that's been there for a long time? This isn't his new rule. I know a lot of people think, oh, now the rules have changed. Now he made this rule. No, this has been there in the TOS for a long time. I'm not sure how long, but it's not his rule. He just enforced it. Totally fair. And I don't know where coward comes from. Seems irrelevant and random to me. And then Eve continues on to say, free speech doesn't include incitement of violence, Elon Musk. And he knows that. Elon Musk is going to have rules. A lot of people who are on one political side, I should say, think that because free speech is now more allowed on Twitter, that means it's going to go crazy. It's going to be bad that people don't understand, free speech has limits, everyone understands that, there's going to be bans and suspension for actual incitement of violence. So, chill out, Eve, or I should say, evil. And this person here, Beatrix Kiddo, is always on Twitter defending Johnny, and she says suspend. For what it's worth, I gotta disagree. I don't see anything Eve should be suspended for. She's put out some info I think's wrong. Hell, we know is wrong a lot of the time. But you see that from all angles, both political sides. Everybody gets things wrong at times. And everyone puts out info that's not correct based on their narrative and things like that. It's a common thing. So I hope if Eve breaks the rules, it gets noticed and she gets suspended. But I can't see anything to suspend for just at this time. If you do, hey, let me know. I'd love to feature it. Let's move on. And then Eve tweets this out. Kathy Griffin, 2 million followers, account suspended. I don't know if Kathy changed her name back after the suspension or something like that, if this is Photoshop, but Kathy's old name that she got suspended for was Elon Musk. So I'm not exactly sure what this is saying, what it's stating, but all right, that's Eve for you. All right, let's move on to what I missed during Halloween. Well, I didn't actually miss it. I didn't have time to make a full video on this. So here it is. And this is Melissa Chen going as Amber Heard for Halloween. And Eve takes issue and says, deranged. What's deranged? Amber's pretty much a public figure. There was like a billion people watching the trial. It's a pretty easy costume with a wig and, you know, a suit that Amber wore to court and things. No big deal for me. So Melissa Chen says, we're short on time this year to fix up a costume for Halloween. So Gibbs and I went as Amber Heard and the little doo-doo that she left in her marital bed. So now you're asking, who is Melissa Chen? Let's see. Melissa Chen is an editor at The Spectator. And Melissa also has over 200,000 followers. So that's who she is. No one's super famous, but she's got a little name for herself. Let's take a closer look. All right. There it is. She dresses up like Amber. She's got the crying, correct. And she's also got her little dog in the bed. Okay, I'll say this. It's not even so scary. 
not unless you really, really think about it and what it meant. But I don't know. I guess it's just comedy. Just, you know, a little fun. That's what Melissa chose to do. So maybe next year she'll have the costume lying around and she'll dress up again. Time will tell. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. I'm on Elon Musk's side. I don't see any big change as far as Twitter. Okay, maybe some curse words and insults are up a little bit, but that's also people testing the waters. Not like real genuine insulting, but all in all, seems about the same to me. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. And if you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Rant done for now. See you next time.